You know, in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints on their website, it says that separation from God is spiritual death. I tell you, you cannot have separation if you are not separate. Separation from God is spiritual death. Now, here's how we separate ourselves from God. The Bible says that all things were made by who? Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And it says every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is the, is the Lord. And the Lord is Yahweh in the Old Testament who said, Beside me, I am Yahweh, I am the Lord, and beside me there is no God, there is no Elohim, it says in the Aramaic and, the, and in the Hebrew. He is the only Elohim that is. And we separate ourselves from him by saying that we are the makers of what we do. We are not the makers, people. All things, yesterday, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the maker of all things. And all he wants us to do is to acknowledge that. When we acknowledge that he has made all things, all things today, all things forever, and all things yesterday, because he's the same yesterday, today, and forever, then we no longer are separating ourselves from God. I declare that separation from God is spiritual death, and spiritual death is not the truth. Jesus said, I am the truth, and he said, the truth will set you free. Spiritual death will not set you free because it's not the truth. It is not the truth. He said, be still and know that I am God. You think you're the mover? You think you're the doer? You think you are the sum total of every decision you have made? You are not the truth. You did not make anything. I did. You give him all the credit for everything. Everything that you have ever claimed that you made. He is the maker, not you. And when you have done that, you are now finished separating yourself from God. You are acknowledging the truth. And Jesus said, I am the truth. So I invite you to stop separating yourself from God. Separation from God is based on the flesh, on the carnal mind. Your carnal mind interprets the world in a way that makes you separate from God. But the God of this world, it says, is Satan in the New Testament. Do not believe the God of this world. The truth is you are not separate from God. So again, you give God everything. I've said before, you give him all your righteousness. Isaiah said that your righteousness is nothing but filthy rags. And I bear witness that if you are holding filthy rags, which is your righteousness, and taking the credit for your righteousness by holding on to it and calling it yours, you are filthy because filthy rags will make you filthy. You give your righteousness to God and now it is his righteousness. You give him the credit for it and now his righteousness is righteous while yours is filthy rags. Give him the credit. Give him all that. And you give him your sins. And when you give someone something, you no longer claim it is yours. You give him everything, including your sins. So your sins are no longer his sins. How can he bear your sins if you keep declaring they are yours and not his? Your sins are his. He is the doer of all things, and you acknowledge that. Your sins are his sins, but his sins do not make him evil. Do not make him a sinner. Why? Because nobody makes God anything. Because God is not made. God is the maker and you give him the credit for everything, everything good and everything evil you have ever made and claim that you did it instead. You are not the maker. He said, be still and know that I am God. I am the mover. I am the doer. I am the maker. And stop separating yourself from God. Again, whenever you have separated yourself from God, that is based on the carnal, sensual, devilish mind. The devil tries to separate you from God, and he doesn't do it with the truth. Jesus said, I am the truth, and the truth will set you free. You are not separate from God. And you are to love God with all your heart, mind, and strength. That is the great commandment. And love your neighbor as yourself. For without God, would your neighbor be? No, he made all things, including your neighbor. He even made your enemies. Love them, do good to them, pray for them. Now, this is Christianity. He is the maker of you. Without God, you would not be, so you are within him. Without God, your neighbor would not be, so your neighbor is within him. And the Bible declares within him, we live, move, and have our being. And you cannot be within him without him, so he is within you, and you are within God. 
and that is the truth of Christianity. If your doctrine has differed from what I have said, I invite you to change it now. Thank you.